Welcome everyone. Thank you for taking your time to join this webinar about Phantonix Fuku Spinner, a solution for 3D real-time motion correction for in vivo measurements. I'm Katalin Uchai, the head of software and AI department in Phantonix LTD and the developer of real-time motion correction. As it was mentioned in the lecture about voltage sensitive ties, the main advantage of the Echo optical technology is the flexibility that the position of the focal point can be controlled within a 10 to 30 microsecond temporal precision without any mechanical constraint. The technical background is that we have echostoptical deflectors, which consist of crystals bonded to an electric transducer emitting ultrasound waves to the crystal when driven by a sine wave. Changing the frequency of the sinusoidal voltage changes the deflection angle of the light falling through the aperture. With this technology, a very fast random 3D access can be achieved, making it possible to scan arbitrary ROIs. As a consequence, with echostoptical technology, we can scan very complex, almost arbitrary 3D ROIs following the shape of the objects to be measured with a very high temporal resolution. In example, we can achieve 100 kHz in case of point scan and 16 kHz on a 50 micrometer long ribbon. So we can say that one of the greatest advantage of the echostoptical technology is the incredible temporal and spatial flexibility, which is actually a crucial feature for the real-time motion correction. But why is real-time motion correction essential in in vivo measurements? Well, the brain movement due to intended and visceral motion, such as heartbeat or respiratory movement, can cause very huge artifact in the calcium signal, as shown on the right, especially when the ROI is relatively tight and the scan object can move out from the scanned area or volume. So what is the main concept behind the Femtonix Focus Spinner? We select the reference point, which can be either a fluorescent bead or even a bright cell, and we measure three orthogonal AO drifts on the reference point in X, Y, and Z directions and calculate the intensity profiles of the drifts, then determine the centroids of the profiles. Reference and imaging data are collected sequentially according to the ratio, which can be set by the user. When the animal moves vividly, it is worth having a larger fraction, but generally 10% is a good choice. Then in the FPGA level, the firmware calculates the dislocation vectors between the centroids of the intensity profiles of subsequent reference drifts in each direction, X, Y, and Z. Based on this estimation, the movement will be compensated on the next imaging drifts by shifting the target of the focal point. Since a very fast, less than one millisecond intervention is needed, calculations are performed not on the personal computer level, but on the electronic cards controlling photomultiplier and echostoptical crystals. Using this idea, the Femtonix Focus Spinner can compensate the motion of the cell population quite robustly. Moreover, keeping the neuron in the ROI does not need to increase the size of the squared ROIs, which would mean a significant reduction in the sampling rate. Actually, the frame rates decrease only with the user predefined fraction between reference and imaging drifts. Set stacks are quite often used for structural imaging of a dendritic tree. To avoid blur layers, just enable Phantomix Focus Spinner. It will compensate the movement during scanning each rows of the layers and movement between scanning the layers as well. Real-time motion correction can be crucial in case of dendritic measurements as well, where a narrow ribbon is selected as an ROI. This movie shows a recorded ribbon scan as long as 20 minutes, which was used to elicit signal from dendritic splines. The compensated motion along X, Y, and Z axis can be stored in the measurement file in three curves, so the corrected movement can be analyzed without finding any artifact of the signal extracted from somata or dendrites labeled with calcium or voltage sensitive dyes. Here we can see the stored movement curves. The x-directional movement was plotted with yellow, the y with orange, and the z with red. At the bottom of the page, calcium curves elicited from a dendritic spine can be seen. The green one shows the signal from measurement with real-time motion correction. Then the stored motion was applied on the dendritic measurement, and signal elicited from a moving spine is plotted with blue. We can see that without motion correction, the blue signal missed some of the active periods and suffers from huge artifacts caused by motion. 
Finally, let's see some quantitative analysis. Without the focus spinner, calcium signals are quite noisy in the scan population. Moreover, it's very hard to distinguish between the movement artifact and action potentials. However, when enabling real-time motion correction, artifacts disappear and transients with regular rise and fall appear as calculated and modeled from the measured data. Quantitatively, a large-scale improvement can be seen in the signal-to-noise ratio. As a summary, let's see the main advantages of Femtonix Focus Spinner. It is acoustopic based, so by leveraging the capabilities of 3D random access line scanning, our system enables seamless motion correction along each axis. It offers a significant advantage over the currently available XY plane cross correlation based solutions by providing a feasible Z directional correction. It is useful at in vivo measurements. Motion artifacts caused by the movement of the animal, such as respiratory movement or heartbeat, can be efficiently eliminated with an average residual motion under 10% of the original motion. It is real time. During the measurement, the focal point is online relocated based on the estimated motion of the reference point. Compared to quasi real time solutions, the reaction time is one tenth. The cycle of the repeated motion correction is less than 100 microseconds, meaning that the largest residual motion amplitude is the one collected during this short time window. It is compatible with all scanning modes, in example, point scan, raster scan, chessboard scan, multi-cube scan, longitudinal and transverse ribbon scan, snake scan, and Z-Stack. So, the all scanning modes of the FANTA 3D Atlas system. Thank you for attending this webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in more details or in an online demo, please write an email to the following address. Goodbye.